Hey guys! So, I know it's been a while since I made a video. Um, there's just been a lot of things going on with school and stuff. But I'm back, and I have a book haul for you guys. Um, all of these books I've gotten from multiple trips to half price books. So, yeah, that just happens to be the closest bookstore to me, so all of these are from there. First off, I got a little bag. This is one of those, like, reusable bags. You can bring to the store. And this one says, um, it has the First Amendment on it for, uh, free speech. And it has the religion part on there, too, but most of it's about free speech. And it says, consider what ideas are lost by censorship. And then it has half-price books and, um, deletecensorship.org. I've not, I've never gone to that site. Maybe I should figure out what that is. But, um, and that's the book, that's the bag I got, and, um, yeah, so I take this with me when I go book shopping, because I usually need it. <laughs> um, okay, first, through, um, just some random trips, I got, these are the three, okay, so I went through my bookshelf to try and find which books to put in this haul, because I had put them all away, and I think I got all of them, but I'm not sure, but... It's still a big haul anyway. So first I got another version of Pride and Prejudice. Just like that. Um, me, if I have certain books that I love, like Pride and Prejudice, Pride and Prejudice, and Les Mis are my two big ones. I love those. They are my all-time favorite books. Les Mis is my favorite play. I go see it all the time. But I like to have multiple copies of that. Um... I'm not exactly sure why, it's just a little thing that I do. Um, so this is my second copy of Pride and Prejudice. And then I got The Constant Princess by Philippa Gregory. And The Other Queen by Philippa Gregory. So I got quite a few Philippa Gregory books, so just be aware. Then for Christmas, my brother got me, um, the Queen's Fool by Philip Gregory. I had to read the side because the stickers covering it. And he got me another version of Les Mis. Like I said, I like to have multiple versions. Because then I can have, like, one at my parents' house, one in my dorm, like, one in my bag. Like, I don't know why. I just really like to have multiple versions of the same book. So he got me another Les Mis. Because he knows that. Then... This is where this this is eleven books. My friends and I we all love to read, and it's Christmas break, and these are my friends who are doing the one thousand book challenge with me, and we all love to read. So we decided while we're all home on break, we were going to go to the bookstore. We didn't leave the clearance section. The clearance section at Half Price Books is this little corner, or at least in mine, is this little corner, and all the books are three dollars or less. And, um, I might have gotten 11 books for under $20, <laughs> which was good, because I only had $20 with me. But, so I got 11 books, and my one friend got more, and my one friend got less. But, um, so yeah, here they are. I got Code Zero by Ken Follet, Follet. I don't know how to pronounce his last name. It could be French, could be not. I don't know. But, um, this is right after the Cold War, and, um, it says, a man wakes to find himself lying on the ground in a railroad station. He does not remember how he got there. He has forgotten where he lives. He cannot even remember his own name. So, this is really exciting. Then I got Sandra Brown, Smoke Secret, or Smoke Screen. Um, I'm not exactly sure what this is about, but... I do remember I was in Barnes & Noble one day, and I saw this on the sale rack, but I didn't pick it up. I was going to, but then I put it away for a different book. So when I saw it for $2, $2? This might have been a $1 one. Yeah, this is a $1 one. So I got this book for a dollar, and I was like, I wanted to get it that one time anyway. Why not? Then I got The Secret of Lost Things. This is about a girl who um, 
takes a job at a rare, at a chaotic emporium of used and rare books called the Arcade. Um, and then someone is seeking to place a lost manuscript by Herman Melville. And the bookstore, it says the bookstore erupts with simmering ambitions and rivalries, including actual correspondence by Melville. The secret of lost things is at once a literary adventure and, uh, and a portrait of a young woman making a life for herself in the city. So this I'm excited to read because it's about a bookstore. It's got books all over the cover. And it sounds really interesting. Then I got another Mitch album book. This one is for one more day. I've read Tuesdays with Maury and um, The Five People You Meet in Heaven. And I actually have both of those books. Sorry, one's over here, one's over there. Um... So I actually have both of those books, and this is, I think, his third one. Yeah. Oh. I didn't realize, but it's got writing in there. Interesting. Maybe she read it, enjoyed it, and sold it. So, um, I'm not exactly sure what this is about, but it's by Mitch Album, and I really love his books, so I picked it up. And I think this one was a dollar, too. Or maybe two. Nope, this is a dollar. I love dollar books. Then, I got two Jodi Picoult books. The Tenth Circle and Keeping Faith. All of her books are on the thousand, the 1,000 book list. So, um, I picked them up because I am a big fan of hers. And I'm really excited to read these. I've started keeping faith before, but, um, I've only gotten a few pages into it until I had to return it to the library, and, um, I didn't renew it because it was towards the end of the summer, so I was going to school and stuff, but I'm excited. Then I got the other Bowen Girl. Um, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I actually have a copy of the other Bowen Girl right here, but here, let's see cute little mugs off, but um, this one is the movie cover, and this one is the regular cover, and I like the regular cover better because all of my other um, Philippia, Philippia Gregory books, sorry, mind freeze, um, books are regular covers because she doesn't have any other movies, so um, I think I'm going to gift this to a friend who has always said she wanted, she wanted to read this book, so yes. Long story short, I have two different covers of that book. Then I got, oh, another Ken Follett, Follett book. I didn't realize I got two of his. Um, the Pillars of the Earth. This is what this is. Again, I don't know what this is about, but it was on the Oprah Book Club. And um, it is on the Thousand Book List. So, I'm excited to read that. It's really long. And it's, I mean, it's not too small font, but just, it's going to take a while. It's 973 books, or 973 books, 973 pages. Um, but yes, so, excited to read that one. I got three cups of tea, a one man's mission to promote peace, one school at a time. So I got that one. And then I got... Jude Devereaux, um, Lavender Morning, I think that's how you pronounce her name, but, um, it's about this woman who, um, her mom grew up upper class, private school, all that, and her dad is working class, and then her mom dies, and, um, he, and then her father remarries into his own class, but, um, the woman, Joyce, or I think Joyce, um, is, like, not, she was raised like her mother, but lives in the class of her father, so she's kind of an outsider, and then she meets this older woman who understands her, and then she passes away, and she leaves Joyce with this house and a letter to, um, 
with clues to a mystery. So, um, and it says that in the letter, Miss Edie also mentions that she has found the perfect man for Joyce. So, um, I'm really excited to read this. And then last but not least from this little book haul, 501 must read books. My, I found this on the, this is how much of like book nerds my friends and I are. I found this on the shelf, I grabbed it, and then I showed it to my friends and all of them were like, I want it. <laughs> and I think I was like, ha I found it. And all my friends were like, let me see it, let me see it. So, um, I got this, I'm really excited because a lot of these are on the thousand book list, but not all of them. So, once I get through that one, or maybe while I'm getting through that one, I'll go through these two. Because, I mean, if it gets onto into a book like this, it's, it's got to be good. Or, even if it's not good to me, the writing is probably really, really good. So, I would like to read it. And um, it's categorized by different um, genres. So you have like your history genre. This um, is classic fiction. You got children's fiction, stuff like that. So if you only want to read a certain type of book, you know that's how it's categorized. And then it's um, what's the word? What's the word? What's the word? Chronological. So it's by genre, and then chronological within the genre. So that was that little escapade. Then um, I went again, this time by myself, and I got, and again, I like didn't leave the sale section, and I got seven books, yes, yes, seven. So I got um, Girl with a Pearl Earring. My roommate says this is really good, so I'm really excited to read it. Um, so there's that. Then I got Alexander McCall Smith, the number one ladies detective agency. This one is on the book list, which is why I picked it up. So I don't actually know what it's about. Um, this one is by Sue Monk Kidd, the mermaid chair. She wrote um, my favorite, one of my favorite books of all time, um, The Secret Life of Bees. So I had to get her second book, The Mermaid Chair, and it was only a dollar for hardback. So that's exciting. Then I got The Piano Teacher by Janice Y.K. Lee. Flip that. I got The Girl's Guide to Hunting and Fishing by Melissa Bank. Flip that. And this is fiction. So it's fiction. And then, um, Boy Meets Girl, Say Hello to Courtship by Joshua Harris. Sorry, his name's covered up. But, um, when I was checking out the girl who was the cashier, she said, I've read this and it's really good. So, I just opened it to this page and I got this little note about patience. Help me hone patience, Lord. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I love, I love, this is why I love going to used bookstores. Because you get stuff like that, and you know that books were loved. Or if they weren't loved, they have now found a better home. And then I got, um, because I'm taking French in school, and I haven't taken French for a year. I took a year off of it, so I got succeeding with French grammar, because, um, I'm going to need it, and since I bought it, I thought I'd share it with you guys. So yeah, that was my book haul from various different times that I've gone to the bookstore.